good update. Day. Good day. Good practice. This was the best uh, best we've looked. Uh, felt a uh, greater sense of urgency out there. Maybe we put the pads on. You guys flying around a little bit. And, uh, thought the offense did a real nice job today. You, you can see the execution. Uh, execution is starting to get better, and uh, it was very encouraged. You know, the tempo is not where we want it to be. It's not where it's going to be. But, uh, but I felt like you know for the, you know for the first time you could just feel and you could feel the pressure that they could put on you. You tweeted this morning, you were putting the GPSs on the guys. What's yeah. the purpose of that? What does that do? Yeah, we got the GPSs up and running. There's a, there's a long list of things that it'll do, but it tracks a, a lot of information that we're going to follow that uh, we've put out a lot of information on that, so we could get that another time. How deep in the <laughs> installation are you? Uh, day three, just day three. How many days so, are and there? That's, <laughs> that's why we are, and, and you know, we originally talked Monday that I wouldn't go on Saturday. We are going to go. It's nice weather. Uh, you know, it's supposed to be nicer. Um, we're not going to install much new tomorrow. We thought we'd go back tomorrow. We have a good practice on Saturday with no distractions and, and just clean up these first three days. Are so instead of part? practicing that, that 15th after the spring game, we, we felt like we needed it right now with the installation and just cleaning up these three days. How many days does it take to, to install each for the offense? I think Neil said it would only be two or three, three or four days maybe and then... Yeah, they, uh, they're unique in the way they implement uh, uh, you know the offense, and they can have a good portion of it in three days. And there's all kind of little adjustments and tweaks. And, and defensively, it's it's much the same. After three days, you could feel the core of who you are. But then there's many things that we could constantly build on. And we'll, we'll build for for years, really. How is Darius? So Darius is doing a nice job. Yeah, I, I noticed him a few times out there. Had some nice plays today, but. Uh, but you know he's uh, he's doing good and he's ahead. He knows Coach Brumbaugh's techniques and, and and how we want to play fundamentally defensively. So he's doing a nice job. How does adding uh, full pads help you? Yeah, it, it does. It, it it just it's hard for those guys sometimes the tempo. Of it, you know what I mean? You don't want to get guys hurt and all that when you have no pads on. So uh, you know I think with the pads on everybody feels much more comfortable and goes at it and can let it loose and play a little bit more confident. Are there rules on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so many days that we have to go in shorts with no pads. So we'll save the, the last one until uh, probably the day before the spring. Mark, what do you think of the overall speed level on this team? Yeah, I feel, I feel like, you know, we need to get we need to get faster. You know, I, I've commented on that a few times. And like I said before, it's hard to designate just one unit or another, one segment, because we need to improve in all areas. But uh, skill, skill wise, I think we need to get faster. And, and even our skill guys need to be bigger. So I mean, we have some some guys got some good, some good size and all that. Mark, how much across the board? How much time are you spending with the defense? Uh, I'm spending a good amount with the defense. I mean, again, I feel very confidently with uh, the way those guys know what I want. Coach Elliott knows very clearly how I want the things done defensively, and uh, you know I have great trust in him. But uh, but yeah, I could still help more on the defense at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, What's it like for you? You're learning the offense as the players are. Yeah, it is. It's good. It's good for me. Just get over there and watch the way they put it in and the, the operation and how they do things. And, again, I've been very impressed. I think they, they're doing a great job. And the coaches are working diligently to get it, get it put in the right way and, and getting these guys up to speed. So it's been going pretty well. Have you seen any leaders emerge? I know Monday yeah. you were a little uncomfortable with that, yeah. but it seems I'm like still, progressively. I'm still, I'm still you know, a little bit hesitant on that. The, the, the guys are still holding on to their butts, you know, rather than, uh, than, 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 you know, they're not in a position yet to lead, but we'll, we'll get it going. How much work, if any, on special teams so far? Yeah, we've done, we work on special teams every day. Yeah. Quite a bit? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we still have two segments a day on special teams every day, just like we will in the fall. So, yeah, we're, we're installing. Coach Pipito's done a great job with that, and we're, we're working hard. How different is that? I know everybody has different approaches. Are you having to teach a lot the way you want it done? Yeah, yeah, fundamentally, some of the things uh, we're doing with the punt, we're in the punt installation right now, and a lot of that's carrying over the last year, and they were really very effective here last year in punt, and some of the techniques and some of the scheme we're doing uh, from the punt team is very similar. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks. it.